டாக்டரேல் மகாதேவன் ஃப்ரம் அ வில்லேஜ் கன்னியாகுமரி டிஸ்ட்ரிக் ப்ராக்டிசிங் ஆயுர்வேதா ஐ ஸ்டடிட் ஆயுர்வேதா தரவலி தென் ஐ ஹேட் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஸ்டடி ஹச்சிசன் டேவிட்சன் அண்ட் ஹாரிசன் தரவலி பட் ஐ ஆம் நாட் யூசிங் எனி மாடர்ன் ட்ரக்ஸ் இன் மை ப்ராக்டிஸ் பட் ஐ ஆம் யூசிங் டெக்னாலஜிஸ் அண்ட் கிளினிக்கல் மெத்தட்ஸ் இன் மை ப்ராக்டிஸ் டு டாக்குமெண்ட் தி கேஸ் and we have got a good practice in a small village so we are doing ayurveda without any this um, commercial uh, outlook so we treat around 3000 intervertebral disc cases with sciatica problem so i am going to present two case studies the one is on reabsorption of intervertebral disc a clinical possibility through vasti chikitsa everybody in your life would have experienced low back pain many times when you do m kapha as per ayurveda so we in our principle give ushnam anulomana chikitsa and cleaning the colon is the main therapy which is called anulomana anulomana brings the balance of autonomic nervous system so the anulomana chikitsa is found to be effective in very challenging intervertebral disc cases now you will go to the case A 36 year old man involved in bank work came with LBA sciatica left leg the presentation is acute duration 10 days the patient experienced intermittent back pain and the patient had neurological claudication he was unable to sit for more than 30 minutes and 2 weeks ago he developed a severe acute low back pain and had left sciatica with paresthesia in the left foot and a cold feeling in the left foot He is from lumbar spine. Actually, he had compensated scoliosis, pain, unable to walk. The conventional pain management was a failure. So, as the conventional management was a failure, we we, we took MRI. MRI is available for two thousand rupees in the center. So, the desiccated disc with bulged annulus seen at L4, L5 level. Desiccated left para centrally extruded disc seen in the L5, S1 level. Thickal sac compression is there. we have been working on this a lot now we, what you are seeing is the sagittal view because the presentation is only 7 minutes you are in the sagittal view you are able to see the disc protrusion now we will see the axial view the axial view you have having the severe uh, protrusion uh, compressing the neural foramen and uh, it is a clinical sciatica occlusion of neural foramen on the right side with the mild neural foramen impingement on the right side this this mri report is taken desiccated disc with bulged annulus with type 3 annular tear at l4 l5 level left para centrally extruded disc at l5 s1 causing thecal and nerve left nerve root compression then ayurvedically speaking we have given a purgation gandharvastadi kashayam sakadaradi kashayam vaishwanara churnam and yeranda mooladi niruga vasti vasti is a thing which are work on gut brain mechanism once we give vasti we have found that the serotonin increases mood also changes after vasti there are lot of neurologists here to understand ayurveda can be talked in a mythological term it can be talked in a neurophysiological terms the country is called bharata bharata is bhava raga and thala bhava is expression raga is emotion thala is rhythm that is vada pitta kapha that is why this country is called bharata this vada pitta kapha is called brahma vishnu and shiva in neurological perspective vada is new dopamine can be brought under vada serotonin can be brought under pitta gaba can be brought under kapha in a cell if you take a cell uh, abari uh, if you take a cell in the cell the nucleus is vada the mitochondria is pitta the protoplasm is kapha so in ayurvedically we study vada pitta kapha in one level once you study physiology once you study modern medicine whatever the medicine you name it you will be able to see the whole jagat the whole manifestation whole universe as three forces generation operation and destruction this vada pitta kapha is controlled by or understood by sympathetic and parasympathetic activities the vegas the natural urges told in ayurveda are nothing but parasympathetic activities now after that we give anulomanam this ayurvedic doctors know the total cost for the ivdp management is 4000 rupees for 20 days so after this the mri was taken again which showed that there was a complete reabsorption of a disc protrusion now many papers have written stating that prolapsed disc material has been reabsorbed by conventional management including rest not only ayurveda but ayurveda quickened the process now you see the second mri taken 
you, you do cannot see the protrusion here in the L5 S1 level. Now you see the lateral view, you see the foramen, you see. Now you see the original document, doctor report given by the radiologist. Comparing to the previous MRI, Sajud, how to put the previous one? Yeah, comparing to the previous MRI, the L5 S1 prolapse and the left lateral recess encroachment showed significant regression. We are doing this for, for most of the cases without bladder involvement, cauda iguana, producing pyramidal signs, if it is lumbar myelopathy, if there is a food drop, all other cases can be managed successfully by Vasti. Vasti, if you are seeing a big balloon in a room, after 10 days you don't touch the balloon, you enter the balloon, the balloon shrinks in its shape. Likewise, intervertebral disc reabsorption and rehydration is a possibility once the vata anulomana, apana prana flows in its proper way. And apana anulomana chikisa includes diet, exercise. There are certain asanas that can be done. Every asana, lumbar flexion has to be avoided. Flexion increases the problem. Extension can be given. With this, in massage also, we should avoid flexion and extension is given. So this, this we are doing 20 days including food and accommodation. The treatment is only 4,000 rupees. I don't know how the corporate and other things will be benefited by this. Next one, this hepatocellular carcinoma. There is a sudden 58-year-old man came with a sudden right upper quadrant pain. I live in a poor remote village. My grandfather is sitting. One hand is weak, but it is not a problem. People come, they pay 10 rupees and get, we give Gomutra, we give everything. People are getting benefited. Once you prove the result, wherever you are, people will come. So, sudden onset of right upper quadrant pain, nausea, poor appetite, yellow discoloration, urine and conjunctiva. It was a clinical picture of jaundice, so LFT was advised. Then, we took ultrasound abdomen pelvis, it is found to be obstructive jaundice. No history of relevant illness, diet mixed, habit smoking and alcohol, ictress present, no pallor, no cyanosis. No lymphadenopathy, BP 140-90, weighty 60 kilos. There is tenderness in the right upper quadrant, mite, hepatomegaly, S1, S2 normal, no cardiac complaint. Total bilirubin is 8.3, direct 5.4, bile pigments were present. You see that the patient was advised to take an USG to rule out obstructive jaundice. Kamala is a very important, there is Koshtakada Kamala comes under hepatocellular jaundice. Shagagada Kamala comes under obstructive jaundice. Paradandra Kamala comes under hemolytic jaundice in an Ayurveda. So if an Ayurvedic doctor studies allopathy better way, he will be able to see Trudosha in Harrison also. So there is cholecystitis, free stone. But a mass of 10 cm into 9 cm is seen in the right lobe of the liver. So we suspected hepatocellular CR metastasis. Then we took alpha fetoprotein, then advised for a biopsy. So there are a lot of allopathic doctors, neurologists, cardiologists are working and supporting me. Some of the doctors told allopathic doctors are not referring. No. Once you prove well and if you are ethical and if you are not answer session, why I have selected the drugs, I will be able to tell. Serum, bilirubin level, anything, everything cannot be talked in modern times. Evidence-based means an Ayurveda not become allopathy. Then everything when we talk in your terms, this system is not needed. So allopathy can be supportive to Ayurveda. Ayurveda should support allopathy. Allopathy should support Ayurveda. But Ayurveda should not should, should lose its heritage. That is Panjabuda Dattvam and Tridosha Sattvam. So the, that is why Panjabhuda Shiva Kshetram is there, Mooladharam is there, Mooladhara Kshetra Stidham, we are calling Ganabadi. Ganabadi is an example of metabolic syndrome X. Do you want anybody having central adiposity like Ganabadi? Ganabadi's waist lungs, waist circumference is very big. He would be having, having insulin resistant, hypertriglyceridemia, metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetic. But what does the slogan say? Kabitta Jambu Palasara Bakshidam. He is given Kabittam and Jambu. What is the English name of Kabitta? We do not know. Jambu Jamun. The glycemic index is 18 and 19. Low glycemic index are given, food are given as Naivedya. He is not given with, feeded with bananas. So we see, so this serum bilirubin level 8 root to 4. The patient was advised to undergo the following investment. Uh, CT scan confirmed the presence of neoplastic growth in the right lobe of the liver. So whole body scanning was done. Aspiration cytology was done. You see this blood results. SGPT was high, OTY, alkaline phosphatase in obstructive pathology, alkaline phosphatase increases. That is an indication of srodha rodha in Ayurveda. So, the Yakrit, Prakriti I did not assess. Nowadays, 
even in ectomorph, endomorph, mesomorph, can be talked as vata bitta kapha. Ectomorph, it has got a ectoderm, it has got a quality. Mesoderm, it has got a quality. Endoderm, it has got a quality. So once you read Harrison also, you read Thridoshas. Once you read Thridoshas, you see Harrison in that. Only expression is different. See the snigdam and ushna snigdam. Thilathaila means ushna snigdam. It is unsaturated fat. Once you keep it outside, it cannot solidify. Yada pinde, tada pirmande, thirumular set. Andatil irupo the pindam, pindatil irupo the andam, andamum pindamum wondri. You are the essence of microcosm. So, what you choose should not man, this Ayurveda consider woman, estrogen as Shakti, and men as estrogen. You go to the Hindu temple, the Hindu temple they have painted red and white. They have not painted violet. Why they have not painted? You should have a reason. Arthavam is red in color and Shukram is white in color. Shiva Shakta Yukta, to unite that Saumya Agneyam Jagat only, they have selected these two colors. Otherwise, they would have selected any other color. They didn't do that. Prakriti, I didn't assess. Mudicharra, madam. Next. You want to present, you want to show, but you don't give time. Next. Next one. So, Yakrit is the Sita and Budagni, that is malignant tufer, that is called hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, that was the diagnosis. Trayandi Adi Kashayam, Kaisor Gugulu. Unfortunately, to tell the truth, the patient is an allopathic MS surgeon. Uh, after Virajanam is done with the Trivurtu Churna, Bilurubin came down, you see the ultrasound. The Kaudadat Trufala, the Yogam, Gudavipili was given. Then, after that, liver function became normal. Now, when the latest scan was taken, this patient is advised. The patient is two ga top endocrine the gastroenterologist from Amrda Institute. I am giving the medicine. I do not know modern medicine much. So, I told the gastroenterologist from Amrda to assess it. I give the medicine. I do Ayurvedic work. Modern medicine, whatever the parameters you want, you assess. So, they have given the report. I do not say I have one medicine is effective. The next case will be a failure. That is a problem in research. Then if you ask me, do you have a definite answer for hepatocellular? I don't know. Next case will be a failure. The next case will be a success. Why? Because the Prakriti Bedam is so much in Ayurveda. The Prakriti Bedam is so much. So, you have to consider all those things. So, it, here I have presented two cases. I have treated well. But even I have failure. I have made mistakes. I will continue to make mistakes. I will continue to correct and I will continue to learn. Every morning, one hour I read Ashtangradayam. Every night I read Harrison. I want Ayurvedic doctors to do that. Hari Om.